guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this video today. It has been on my to-do list, my to-film list for what feels like honestly two years or so. I finally got to a place where I feel like I have a great collection of bags to show you guys and I'm really proud of each of them. They all have their own story so I wanted to walk you through them, kind of give you the background and show you what they look like on just in case you were considering one of these bags. I started building up my collection back in 2019 I think because I was going to Copenhagen for my best friend's wedding and I was like, I'm finally at a place where I feel like I can buy a designer bag and not like max out my credit card or drain my bank account because back in the day when I was working in the fashion industry and I was just surrounded by amazing women that had the best style, they all had the best designer handbags, but I was still at a time in my life then when it was like my credit card limit was $2,500 and it was already probably maxed out anyways and I would just save up just enough to afford a designer bag but that would have been all my savings. So luckily I figured out like how to just get through that time without without scratching the itch to buy a designer bag when I absolutely could not afford it. Finally got to a place where I felt confident in my savings account and my spending habits and I made the decision to buy my first bag which takes us to this beautiful YSL Lulu. This is a size small and as you can see it's in my opinion not that small. The chain is really beautiful. You can wear it as a crossbody or you can hold it with the chain doubled up like this. I feel like this bag was a really great starter bag. It has a really beautiful textured leather so it doesn't really show any wear or tear which is really nice. The inside is extremely roomy. I don't know if you can really tell but you've got a front section, a back section, and there's a zipper compartment in the middle. So it, this bag really does hold everything. I always keep the authentication in the bag so that if I ever do go to resell it, I know exactly where it's at. The only thing I will say about this bag is closing it is kind of difficult. You have to maneuver the magnet in a type of way. So this was my first ever purchase. I didn't end up finding it in Copenhagen because they were sold out, but I ordered it online and it was fine. I think I got it for $18.50. Right now online it's still $18.65, so the price in this has stayed pretty stable. So overall, this was a great first bag and I've held on to it, though I don't really wear it a ton anymore. It just holds so much sentimental value to me because it was my first bag. So I'm not sure if I'll get rid of her anytime soon, but overall, the Lulu was a really great starter bag. My second designer purchase was so exciting to me because I was dying for the Chloe Faye backpack, the mini. It was discontinued, I'm pretty sure. They still have it on the Chloe website, but it's not in stock. And I found it on Poshmark one night and I didn't even hesitate. I'm pretty sure I got it for 900. I looked online before filming this and there's a ton available for resale ranging from below 500 to like in the 900s. Just depends on which retailer you go with. This one has stood the test of time. I feel like I can use it at like festivals and places and it doesn't show any signs of wear and tear there's a little bit like right here from opening it so often but overall I feel like this color was really great goes with everything really cute on and it's really cute to hold as a backpack or a little handle bag and again this is the mini size and it was so perfect it fits a ton it's lined with canvas it's just a great bag I feel like again this is something I'll keep forever just because it's so realistic and also have these up like this for a little bit tighter look but I like how it looks when it's open to show more of the suede <laughs> she was really cute I do recommend this bag I feel like I don't see this one as often as I see like the Louis Vuitton backpack so I like it she's cute she stays my next bag was actually as a collaboration because I got a gift card to use at the Cabazon outlets. And on the way to my bachelorette party, I stopped with some girlfriends to do this collaboration for Cabazon. And I went into the Gucci store and sure enough, found the cutest bag. We've got the classic Gigi canvas and it is so good. It's technically a fanny pack belt bag, but I like to wear it around my body. It is comfortable. It has so much space. This is what the inside looks like. Holds everything that I need and more. I got this in 2019 because like I said, I was on the way to my bachelorette party and we got married in 2019 for those of you who don't know. So that was a really fun way to kick off the trip to Palm Springs and I'm pretty sure I got it for under 500. I'm looking at it right now on Tradesy and it's 950. So I would recommend going to a Gucci outlet to see what they have because 
This bag is still available in a lot of places and I know I didn't pay 900 for it. So highly recommend checking out your local Gucci outlet if there is one. It's nice because this is very adjustable so you can wear it around your body or you can wear it around your waist. And I really love this one. I feel like I will keep this one forever as well. This next bag was such an exciting purchase because when Louis Vuitton came out with it, it was all over the internet. It seemed like every blogger had it, but it was so hard to find in store. You had to like call ahead, get on a waiting list. And it was just like that bag that you wanted so badly and it was almost impossible to find. Kelsey was in Hawaii and I remember she went into the Louis Vuitton there to try and find two for both of us. And they only had one, so I was just like waiting and waiting and I got on my wait list in Santa Monica and I was in Cabo with my mom and I got a text from the associate at Louis Vuitton in Santa Monica and she was like, your bag arrived, let me know if you want it, I'll run your car or like I'll, I'll put it on hold. And I was like, yes, like I fly back home tomorrow, please hold it for me, I will pick it up. So we might... My mom and I went right from the airport at LA to Santa Monica, Louis Vuitton to pick up the multi-pouchette bag. And this bag, honestly, is one of my favorite bags. I got the khaki, which is actually green. I'm not sure why they call it that, but I believe this bag is one of the cutest Louis Vuitton styles. I got it for $16.50. It is now on their website for $25.70. So this investment like proved to be a good one. It's really cute, it's really versatile. It also comes apart, so it, it's really a few bags in one. You can have this really tiny one for a date night. You can carry the main bag like this if you'd like. And then you can also detach the little coin purse and like put her on here. I've done that before. So it's very fun, it's very versatile. And you can even buy, I think, other strap colors if you want. I've seen like some unique colors in the past i don't don't know if they're real or not but i've seen people do like other color straps i know that they have a black version i think i've seen blue but overall this bag is super great i love her i haven't used it in a while but i feel like it's just one of those pieces i'm so proud to own because of the story behind it okay this next bag if you made me pick one bag for my entire collection it would be this bag i got it on my honeymoon in australia it was like one of those moments where i walked in and I saw it hanging there and I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is like never in stock but it's just sitting in front of me. Even the associate said, he was like, I'm shocked that we even have this bag. Like someone wanted it and she changed her mind. So that's the only reason it's on this counter right now. Like it should be sold out. So that alone made me be like, oh my gosh, I need this bag. That was at nighttime before the store closed. I went to the hotel, thought about it, couldn't stop thinking about it. And then I like ran back the next day and bought it. And it was amazing. It's this Bottega padded cassette in black i am so in love with this bag i actually used it so much i got super nervous because i felt like the leather just started to feel differently on the strap so i put it away simply because i i love her so much i don't want it to be too worn like it's just not a bad it's not a bag that should be used for every day but it looks so cute with everything that i was using it every day for like honestly two years straight and I had to like put it away so I wouldn't ruin it. But I highly recommend this bag. It To me, it reminds me of kind of like a Chanel classic flat bag. Like especially in the black, I just feel like this will stand the test of time as well. It's not too trendy. They have so many amazing colors now. Bottega has just like really flourished. But I still really love that I have the black. The associate showed me how you can have the strap underneath the bag and hold it like a little handle bag on your side. And then the Bottega triangle will be showing in all, you know, trendy, fun way, cool way, cool girl way to wear it. Um, but obviously you also have this way, which is just the classic way. I've never loosened the strap to be any longer than this, but honestly, you guys, this is the bag for me. I love this bag so much. It weirdly does fit a lot as well. I will say I have lost jewelry in this bag. I've lost the same anklet twice actually in this bag because it isn't fully shut. It has like the little openings all over. So just something to keep in mind. Don't put any diamond rings in here, but overall this bag is incredible. I honestly don't remember what I bought it for. It was in January of 2020 and I bought it in Australia. So whatever it was, I have no idea. But now this lady is $3,500. I know I did not spend $3,500 on this bag because that that is just not in my memory at all. I think I paid in the 2000s. So again, 
investment is paying off and now they have a ton of colors so highly recommend this bag is like my pride and joy my baby the next bag that I got in my collection in March of 2020 was another Cabazon Outlets purchase. Brennan and I went out to Palm Springs for a birthday work trip and we went shopping at Cabazon because it was like a rainy trip. I remember it was in March and we were like, let's go shopping. So I went into the Prada outlet and found this beautiful camera bag. It is a textured leather with the gold hardware. It was under a thousand as well when I got it because it was at the outlet store. And I remember thinking, how is this bag at the store? Right now because it's still a relevant style i remember finding it and being like this does not seem like it should be at the store right now but i got it and i love it i use it a ton this was another bag that i kind of put away because i was using it so often i was you know worried that i was going to start showing the wear but for a white bag it really has stood the test of time it's never gotten any marks from like jeans or anything on the back overall the texture of it hides anything on it pretty well the gold is also still in really good shape so overall i love this bag it fits so much it is just like a small little camera bag but she is mighty and really sturdy and i really love how it hangs on the body and overall just really recommend having a white bag in your collection is crucial for spring my next bag is still on the Prada train. I went through a massive Prada obsession that is definitely not gone. Brennan surprised me for our one year anniversary. I, like, I wasn't expecting it at all, you guys. We were living in Minnesota at the time. We were in the middle of a pandemic. We like got a hotel room because we were like, we want to do something for our one year anniversary. It's so special, but it was also such a weird time. Like, you know, weird, weird vibes. I'll never forget because we were on the rooftop of this hotel in October. So it was really cold in Minnesota. We were in the hot tub and he was like, I'm gonna go downstairs and like get some snacks and drinks. I'll be right back. So he goes, comes back. We have our snacks, drinks, enjoy the hot tub. Then we go back to the room and there's a Prada bag sitting on the bed in the hotel room. And I was like, I'm sorry, what is this? I had not gotten him a gift. One of my biggest failures of marriage was I did not, I thought we weren't doing gifts because like, you know, times were just weird and we did the hotel stay, whatever. Long story short, I still am like, oh my goodness, I did not get husband a one-year anniversary gift and he got me a Prada bag so this beauty was in the Prada bag on the bed the nylon re-edition I was so shocked in shock I couldn't even like I didn't know what to do with myself I was unwell but also so well in the best way I am obsessed with this bag it is very similar to the Louis Vuitton multi pochette with this little coin purse up here. It's also detachable. These straps are also detachable and you can just hold her with this cute little chain. So it's relevant for date night. This is such a good bag. And if you are someone that wants to like have a designer bag in all weather, this nylon holds up so well in rain and snow. Not that I recommend doing that with your bags, but I got her in Minnesota and she survived better than I did. So this bag is amazing it's sporty and it's just like so good with every outfit i also love that it has the silver hardware a lot of my bags are gold hardware so the silver really sets it apart the next bag which is a really special bag all on its own i never thought i would have anything from this brand just because i didn't know much about it but it was my very first career high all-time high of working with a luxury designer i will never forget when the offer came through it was like for a three-month contract and it was just so special to me because i was like oh my gosh like i've been dreaming of a moment like this my entire career of being a blogger and it happened and i was just like oh, so emotional about it so it's this really cute crossbody from mcm it's called the mode travia this is the mini version I actually just got my mom the small version if you go on my instagram you'll see the comparison in size I really like the mini. It's really cute. It does fit an iPhone Pro Max in it, just for reference. And it has this like little front section and this section in the back. So you've got two pockets to work with. I really love it. I will say that the leather kind of shows some wear a little bit faster because it's a little bit softer than I'm used to, but it's still overall a really amazing durable bag. I love this emblem. The gold is great. Just the overall shape in general is so good. The mini version is $12.90. So it's a really good bag to start with. If you want to start growing your collection, it's pretty affordable. If you're thinking of like a luxury brand, it's just really cute. I love the strap. It's comfortable. You can adjust it. Overall, she's a great, exciting bag that I will forever cherish. 
Last but not least, my most recent designer purchase is from a brand I honestly never thought I would really care to buy, but I borrowed this bag from Rebag after seeing it on Instagram, and the second I opened it, I was like, I have to keep this bag. I can't send it back. It's so cute and unique for a brand that's not super unique. It is the St. Lucia backpack from Goyard. I'm keeping it like this just to show you how it folds up to be compact, but the full size is pretty large. I will say, this is the inside. It is large and mighty, but it does not properly fit the big MacBook Pro. Like you need the 13 or 14 inch laptop. I think I have like the 16 inch. And it fits in here, but like not easily. But I really love the black and brown contrast. I mostly love that it's a bag from Goyard that I had never seen before. I feel like this is a brand that so many people have. And even when I was trying to research on this bag, when I was deciding if I wanted to purchase it or not, I could not find any information. I could not find any YouTube videos about it. There was no information on the website regarding price because I bought it from Rebag. So I actually got it. It was listed for $35.70. I got a 30% off deal and I had a $500 gift card. So it ended up being in the middle twos, but I don't know what the regular price of this bag is. I tried to contact Goyard, I tried to email them and I tried to call them and could get no response. So I haven't been into the store to find out the retail price of this bag, but everywhere I've looked online for the quality I got for this use, it looks like someone bought this bag and immediately resold it because there is not a scratch on it. The leather was in such great shape and every other bag I saw that was cheaper than this one, it was like ratted and tatted and this not great. Like it was clearly went through a lot and this one was like good as new. So this is the newest bag purchase in the collection. I feel like I am at a place now where I can like start to invest in more fun pieces like colorful bags and backpacks and things to kind of diversify my collection. I am such an obsessor of black bags. I will always gravitate to the black bags, but at the end of the day, like why not have fun with it? So I've got all of my basic neutrals down. It's time to start exploring more colorful, eclectic, or like the evening bags, like date night bags. You you know, just pieces that make every outfit special. And I'm excited about that. Oh wait, I'm so silly. So I forgot because it's behind me. This bag is the Loewe Small Basket Bag. Retails currently for $4.90, came like this, but you can switch them around to be normal handle bags. But here's my thing. I think I'm returning it today because it's the, it's the deadline to return it. I've wanted this bag for so long. I have pinned it. There's so many cute European girls that wear it all the time. I've even borrowed the bigger version of this. And for whatever reason, whenever I get them in person, I'm like, it's just not it for me. Like it, it, it's so open that even though it is very cute on, I feel like your things are just sitting there like in a basket for anyone to take. So it doesn't feel like a bag that's in need. It's more of like a cute for the photo. But like I said, it retails for $4.90. Like do I need a $500 prop? No. So I think she's going back to her home, but I did enjoy her. I feel like it was worth noting because I wanted to give my opinion on the bag, you know? It's really, really cute. I think it's special, but for whatever reason, I'm just not feeling called to keep it. So that was the most recent purchase, but she's going back home. So we'll include her just because why not? So that concludes everything. If you have any questions, please leave your questions, comments, all the things below. I'm happy to talk about any of the bags, any of the prices I think I may have forgotten to mention. I'll just put them down in the description below so you have reference and I'll link everything. Always look secondhand. So many bags are sold on Rebag, Fashion File, Trade Z, Bag Borrower Steal. I mean, there are so many websites that are reseller retailers and they are just the perfect place to start looking if you are new to designer and you want to get into it but you're not ready to spend the money also designer isn't necessary i'm a huge fan of designer but i waited a very long time to invest in my first bag i did it when it was smart for me financially i didn't put it on a credit card you know i did it when it felt right so don't feel the pressure to spend an insane amount of money on a bag if it doesn't feel right i know that probably goes without saying but just here to say that again, just in case you need any big sister reassurance, just do what feels right. I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a little like, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks for watching guys, bye.